Okay, so we're in 4.8 for the second day, so a couple things to do. One, let's quick go through a little bit of homework answers, but it, it's hard for me to tell you graph answers. I sort of have to see them to believe them. But one to four we can do for sure. Uh, yes, no games, there's four of them. Anybody have an opinion on the breakdown of yes versus no? Three yes. It was three yes, one no. Which one's the no? It is three. So three's a no, the rest were yes. Anybody need some guidance on that group? Then let me give you at least a, a small breakdown of how the graph should look, but it's hard for me to describe where the lines are going to go. But five, we'd want to go dotted line and above it. Six is a dotted line and below it. Both of those should go through the origin. Six is steeper than five. Uh, seven is a dotted line below it. Eight's a solid line below it. Nine's a dotted line above it. Ten's a solid line above it. Eleven dotted and below. Twelve is solid and below. Yeah. Uh, okay, something about twelve. When you do get the y alone and you divide or multiply a negative, what impact does that have from before? It flips. So if you went above it on 12, you probably forgot that lesson about negatives dividing turn the signs, because we are below on 12. 13 solid and below, 14 is dotted and below, 15 is dotted and above, 16 is solid and below, 17 is solid and above, 18 is solid and below. 19 is a dotted vertical line and you'd want to get on the left of it. 20 is a horizontal solid line, go under it. 21 is a dotted vertical line, go right of it. 22, there's two lines both dotted that go horizontal and you shade in between them. 23 is about the same as 22, just in a different place. 24 and 5 both create pillars of solid lines both going vertically and you shade the middle ground. Uh, if you want to know if your lines are in the right place, I could try to describe some of those on some of them, but it's kind of hard to do that. If you want me to do something, I can. Can you describe 20 again? 20 is going to be a horizontal line up 5 that's solid. Yeah. And you shade above that. Okay. I thought you said below. Okay. Maybe I, maybe I misspoke as I was cruising through because I'm not, I'm like in my mind just like yeah. doing them because I'm looking at just a blank page of nothingness in my yeah. book. Anybody on that 25? Anybody need some guidance as to how to do whatever it is that we're trying to do there? So today I'll do two quick examples, still in 4.8. Uh, we're just going to graph systems of inequalities, which we did preview yesterday, because I had a hundred people were traveling for Thanksgiving, so we got our preview out of the way anyway. What does it mean to graph a system of inequalities? Same thing, but there's going to be two or three, something like that. So if we're going to do that, I would graph both lines first and then figure out where you're going to shape. So if we go to graph this, these are already y alone, so we're in better shape. Where would I go to graph this? Origin first. We're short the number, so use the origin. The slope is an invisible one, which is on top of another one. So how are we going to move? Up one over one. Type of line for that? Dotted. Dotted. And when we get around to shading, we're going to want to get above or below that? Above. Above, because it was a greater than. So what I'll usually do is just draw myself gently a little arrow or something to remind myself later, I want to be above that line. We might be up here, we might be in the middle, we might be at the bottom. But some portion of above the line is going to get shaded, but not all of it, because we've got another equation, another inequality we have to obey. No x in this one. So if I just go y2, where's that headed? Up to. Up to. So I'm going to go up to. How's this going to run? Dotted and horizontal, because there's no x, so there's no diagonalness to this. So I'm going to go that way. And then I want to be below that one. So I've got like an axy thing going on here. There's a zone A, there's a zone B, there's a 
zone C, there's a zone D. For conversational purposes, I just make those letters. You're not going to grab the letters. But like, where am I? Which zone? If I have to be above this line, but below that other line, where does that fall? D. That falls in D. So I want to shade in this D zone either with some scribbles or some colors or a masterpiece of art. Anything about that one? Uh, I think we did this in geometry and in out, and you would have probably done this in algebra one. But yeah. Anything there? So let's go one more, and then I'll just turn you loose. This is less ready to graph. Why is this less ready to graph? Why is not one? So leave the y, leave the six, minus two x. This one at first, leave the negative five y, leave the twenty. Negative 10x. When you divide, flip the sign. Negative 4. Plus 2x. And we're going to have three things to graph. We need to graph this. We need to graph this. And then that one was okay. So 1, 2, 3. What do you want to graph first? Doesn't matter. Top one. Top one. So where are we going here? Up 6. Up 6. Down two, right one. Down two, right one. Choice? Uh, that's solid. Solid. And then when we get around to it? It's going to be below. We're going to be below. So I'll, I'll gently draw myself like a reminder arrow or something in the middle. Just, hey, get under that line later. So we're some portion of this. No way is it above the line at all. Something about that part. So that's where are you headed? Down four. Down four. I don't think we flip the sign. We'll be by the line, I think. Uh, good call. Thank you. But we are down four. Up two over one. Up two over one. Type of one. Solid. Solid again, because that equals. And when we get around to shading, we want to be below. also below that one. So if I have to be underneath both lines. A, B, C, D, where are we if we're under both of them? We're in D. We're not going to do all of D, but nothing in A, B, C are getting shaded. It's only going to be this, this D zone that will get shaded. So something in here. But where's that one headed? Down four. Down four. Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Solid line. And that one, for the first time, we're going to be above. above. So we're, what are we going to shade in? That's a that triangle. Don't just graph three lines, make a triangle, and take it by faith you're going to color it in the triangle, because you're not necessarily always going to do that. Sometimes we might have been here. You know, if I change this, we're no longer doing the triangle. Now we're doing this like trapezoid at the bottom. Uh, so you don't just see a shape and color it in, because that's not necessarily how it's going to go. But you've got to just figure out which zone it's going to be. Uh, if there's two lines, you only have a one in four chance of guessing the right zone. So just think that through. This one, when we got three lines going, we actually have seven areas there. So don't just try to like guess an area. You've got a one in seven shot of guessing the right area. You've got to fall in the signs, get above this, below this, that kind of stuff. Question about the scheme of how this goes. It's, it's essentially the same thing. You just have to be a little more careful before you shake. Anything I can do to help that be better? Okay, reminders of what's up. So if you have some homework graphed on today, I'll take it. Uh, this will be due next time I see you out on the flip side of break. There's a sheet that it's up to you when you start. The sheet's due like the Wednesday when we get back, but I might say put that off for a little bit because if you do the review too soon, you're going to forget it before the